Driverless cars still may be more concept than car, but two groups, two industries, already are taking this competitive threat seriously. Theo Francis joins us with the story. Theo, I want to read a quote here that we have, which is actually from your story, one of the groups. This is Mercury General, an insurer. And this was in their, their latest filing. They say the advent of driverless cars and usage-based insurance could materially alter the way that automobile insurance is marketed, priced, and underwritten. Theo, uh, what are these guys talking about here? Well, really, uh, driverless cars could be a game changer. It could be the kind of disruption for the insurance industry that we've seen in other industries. Mm -hmm. Could be. The, the idea is that driverless cars are going to be safer than other cars. There's going to be fewer collisions. What that means, if you have fewer collisions, there's fewer insurance claims. Fewer insurance claims, you're going to have lower premiums. You're going to have a tougher insurance market, a, a tougher, more competition. Right. That's, that's, the, that's the downside. Yeah, and, and we should point out yep. that well, the, the real interesting thing about your story is that talk about driverless cars is starting to show up in these risk factor statements. That's right. That's right. And this is where companies and their lawyers put almost anything they can think of that might be that might be risky, that might be a threat to insurer or to uh, investors. It's partly an exercise in, in uh, liability control. It's it, but it, it's also real. Um, companies started putting uh, started putting uh, cybersecurity. Uh, warnings in there a few years ago, and we see now that that's a real, a real problem. Right, right. Actually, I, I'm glad you brought that up. I was going to bring that up. I thought that was a real interesting kicker in your story. And we should point out that, okay, we're talking about insurers. They get it, but they're not the only industry. T tell me about some of these auto right. parts makers, because that's interesting. Well, auto parts, absolutely. Aftermarket auto parts makers have a real dilemma, too, because uh, as, as, if, there, in fact, there are fewer collisions, as, as a lot of people expect, you're going to have fewer repairs. Fewer repairs means fewer, less demand for uh, for auto parts. So that that's a real threat. Now there there is a flip side to this. These cars are going to be more expensive. They're going to be more complicated. When things break, when a tree falls on a car, which is still going to happen, even if there's fewer collisions, when these things happen, these cars are going to be more expensive to fix. That's going to help, at least uh, for a while, drive the cost of repairs up, and and it may also help uh, auto parts makers to some degree as well. Hey, does, does this kind of point up to a, I'll call it an irony in the insurance industry's business model in, in that they, they kind of need bad things to happen for them to turn a profit? Well, remember, this has been going on for a long time. Cars are a lot safer now than they used to be. When there are collisions, fewer people die. That means fewer accident claims. When, you know, there's a lot of technologies out there that have been coming online that make accidents less common. Backup cameras, collision monitor monitors or, or warning systems. So the this isn't a new concept to the insurance industry. The cars are getting safer and that it changes their business. So far, they've actually remained pretty profitable even though cars have been getting safer and accidents have been on the decline. The question is whether driverless cars are such a big change that it becomes a real game changer for the industry. For example, one of the changes is a lot of accidents may now be blamed not on the driver, but on the, the driverless system, on the company that makes the car or the company that makes the software driving the car. That shifts where the liability is, that shifts where the insurance claims go. And again, it could just change the landscape for the industry. Okay. All right, we have to leave it there. Theo, good story. Thank you very much. Thank you.